There's a certain group of people out there on the internet that believe that an LED headlight bulb could never perform as good as a proper upgraded halogen bulb. Today in this video, we're gonna put that theory to the test and see if the best of the best LED headlight bulbs can be brighter than a 100 watt halogen. Generally speaking, when you wanna upgrade your headlight bulbs, you've got a few different options. You can do a set of halogen bulbs that are more expensive and brighter and consume more energy than your original halogen bulbs. You can upgrade to an HID conversion kit in a plug and play style, or you can do an LED headlight bulb. And of course, there's projector retrofits. There's even full assembly replacements. You got all the options in the world. When it comes to plug and play light bulbs though, sometimes you might wanna go to a cheaper option. Today we're gonna to look at a couple off the shelf halogen products from Philips that claim to be brighter than the stock bulbs. So this is how this test is gonna go. First, we're gonna start with the original 60 watt 9005 halogen bulb that comes off your vehicle from the factory. Nothing special about it, it's probably used. This is what you can expect out of your vehicle right off the lot. Then we're gonna look at the first basic halogen upgrade, an HR2, also known as a 9012. This is a halogen infrared light bulb that's largely expected to be brighter than a regular halogen. Then we got two aftermarket options. We've got the Philips 9005 HB3 Rally Vision 100 watt halogen bulb and the Philips 9005 Extreme Vision 65 watt halogen bulb. One of these options is gonna perform better than stock. Then we're gonna compare all the halogens to a couple LED options. First, we're gonna start with a very well-known option, the GTR Lighting Ultra 2, which routinely comes in as bright as a 55 watt HID. Then we're gonna talk about the Aurora Flexible Heat Sink Bulb, that's more reminiscent of your standard bulb on the generic side of things in the industry. With this test, we should get a pretty good idea of what's possible with different types of LED bulbs versus their high power halogen counterparts. The first bulb we're gonna test in this Dodge Durango projector headlight is a Sylvania G2312 60 watt 9005 halogen bulb. The benchmark for this test comes in at 550 maximum lux. This is typical for brightness and beam pattern of what you'd expect with this setup. The reason we're measuring lux instead of talking about lumens is we're looking for real world output in a particular situation, not some theoretical number on packaging. When we measure lux, it's at a certain point in space at a certain distance, and it's the actual usable intensity that you can see with your eyes. Here we have the Philips HIR2 55 watt 9012 halogen headlight bulb. This one only comes at 430 maximum lux and is a noticeable decrease in light output versus the regular 9005 we just tested. Here we have the 65 watt Philips Extreme Vision HB3 and it only comes in at 350 maximum lux. The packaging claims that we can get up to 100% more brightness out of this headlight bulb, but I think it's more of a color gimmick than anything. This halogen bulb is the big dog. This is the Philips Rally Vision 100 watt HB3 9005 bulb, part number 12359 RAC1. This is not a DOT approved headlight bulb and it comes in at 690 maximum lux. Finally, a halogen bulb that does better than the original halogen bulb. Okay, now here's the Aurora LED headlight bulb. I didn't think this one was gonna be very good because I've tested it before but I think this is what the guys are arguing about when they say LED bulbs are worse than halogen because they probably bought something like this without ever doing their research or doing their own testing. This bulb has a crappy beam pattern and only comes in at 250 maximum lux, even after adjusting the position of the bulb to get the brightest beam pattern. Now we have the GTR Lighting Ultra 2 LED headlight bulb coming in at 745 maximum lux. Here proving a point that yes, some LED headlight bulbs don't work as well as the high power halogen bulbs, but some do. Just to prove a point, let's change headlight housings. This time, we're gonna do the high beam on a reflector-based Ford F-150 halogen headlight. Remember, this one is the brightest option from the previous test. This is the Philips Rally Vision 100 watt halogen bulb coming in at a staggering 980 maximum lux. And the GTR Lighting Ultra 2 LED comes in at 1980 max lux. Proving again that in a projector low beam or a reflector high beam, 
LED can work. So the question is, are 100 watt halogen headlight bulbs brighter than LED headlight bulbs? The answer is no, if you get the right ones. When testing in a projector low beam and a reflector high beam, the results pretty much speak for themselves. I hope you learned something, and if you want to learn even more about automotive lighting technology, check out our other videos where we talk about brightness, comparisons, fitment, and installation. Thanks for watching.